Hello folks and friends. So today I decided to do something a little bit different or I should say a lot different than usual videos because today what I'm going to be creating is a science project or at least a science project diorama. And the way that I'm going to do this is gonna be a little more creative than just having a display board and giving all the information needed for whatever science project that I'm going to create. Instead, I wanna go a little bit more creative and create a restroom. The reason why I'm going to be creating a toilet is because of the fact that this science project or experiment is going to be a foamy elephant toothpaste. So if you guys are interested, let's just get right to the video. Okay, to start off this experiment, we need the ingredients. So first off, we need one third cup of hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of soap, half a tablespoon of yeast, and a tablespoon of warm water. Big reveal. Once you mix all of these chemicals together, it creates a foamy elephant toothpaste substance, as I was saying earlier. And this is what I was looking forward to in my actual diorama of the bathroom. All right, now it's time for the building process. For this, I'm gonna need a lot of cardboard and possibly a scalpel. So, first off, I'm just cutting a bunch of pieces just to see what will work and what won't. What I want to create is a diorama which can be presentable to anybody looking at it. So what I'm going to be creating is the back wall and the side walls as well as the floor. First off, I'm going to be creating the back wall, which as you see right now, is going to be pretty big as well as the whole diorama itself. So what I'm doing right now is just straightening everything out just to make sure that everything does work well and measuring is accurate. Now that I have finished the wall, I am going to be working on the floor. And for the floor, all I need to do is cut around the same measuring size as the wall, but then create flaps on the sides just so everything can connect together properly. And now I'm going to be working back to the side walls. And for the side walls, I wanted to create the same kind of measurement, a little bit shorter, about half the size of the back wall. So what I decided to do was create the same measurement size as the back wall and then basically just cut that in half. And it worked really well. Now that I have all the pieces together, I want to start painting them. So I decided to choose the basic color for the bathroom or what I think is the basic color, which is gray. Now that I think about it, it's probably white. Anyways, I decided to go with gray just because it's a warm color and I think it fits well with the creation that I'm trying to build. Once I finish painting everything gray, I'm going to be working on the bottom part of the wall, which I forgot what the name is, but I'm going to paint it white. Once we're finished painting those little pieces, it's time to work on the toilet itself. And for this, I did it off camera, but it was basically just using a container and covering it up with foil and then covering that up with clay. It worked really well and I was able to get the final product done. All I need to do now is finish the bottom part and then we can put this into the oven so we can bake it. Once it is baked, we can start working on the painting process, which I decided to go for a generic color for a toilet, which is white. Now I used about three coats of this just because this is a very thin colored kind of white. So once I put three coats of it, it looked a lot better than it would have with just one. Now it is time for the longest process of this 
creation or diorama, which is the, which is the tiles. So for this, I just decided to get a piece of cardboard, which was the same size as the floor, and measure it directly with every single tile inch, and just had to cut every single tile inch. Now this took a very long time, which I know I've heard the phrase, work harder, not smarter, but for this case, I just wanted to try to make it look as normal as possible. Once we've got all of the tiles painted and cut out, it's time to measure the toilet just so we know where we can place the tiles and where to cut it. And once we're done tracing, we can start working on placing all the tiles together, which I don't regret this process, even though it took forever. It's just that I hope for in the future, I decide to do a little bit smarter tactics whenever I'm trying to work on a science project. Anyways, it's time to just put everything together and just see how it turns out. Guys, now that I have everything put together, I can finally present it to the judges. So let's see how that goes. Help me for the product. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh no. Now hopefully it works. Now it is slower than usual, um, but I'm assuming it's because of the different materials that it put it in. Um, so, and as you see, it did not work as i went home i was so disappointed i couldn't think about what i did wrong so all i did was throw the project down and just lay on my bed but after a few minutes of thinking it through i couldn't end there i needed a way to finish my project So I did exactly what I needed to. I got all the materials back and I started working on the project immediately. And with a relief in my eyes, it worked. My project, the project that I was working on for such a long time, it finally worked. And with that relief, I continued to watch it grow. All right, guys. Now, as you saw, the first two attempts did not go as planned. But as I was doing it in the backyard, it finally worked the way that I wanted it to. And I'm really happy about it even though I wasn't able to showcase it to an actual judge. The moral of this story that I'm trying to give is that not all of your experiments are going to work and you might fail sometimes, but even on the hardest times that you feel like giving up, don't because you might just create something better than you expected. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribing to my channel. Either way, I look forward for the next video that I create and hopefully it's not as long as my previous videos where they've been like two months difference either way i hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again like the video subscribe and hit the notifications thank you guys for watching bye okay okay huh? okay Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna...
ഇവരെന്നാ പേര്